Hey everybody! So today we're going to be checking out a another mini PC, uh, the Ace Magic uh, S1. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, it has an N97 processor, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 SSD. But yeah, let's uh, unbox it and then probably open it up. And then I got to do testing and stuff. So you'll see this video first. Yeah. All right. So here we have the box. I do know that um, this particular computer is available on um, AliExpress. Um, so they are not the OEM or they're the o I don't know. There's another manufacturer that actually does this. They just put their name on it. Anyways, uh, a little leaflet to cover up mini PC. So they, you know, one way they cover the original box is that. And it has the specs of the computer on it. And then we got an actually thick box that has a cover there. And... Greetings, dear user. We have added display screen setup software to our mini PC, aiming to provide you with an even better experience. You can simply scan this QR code to get it. Cool. So this does have that little screen. I do know that <clears throat> I do know there is a GitHub um, project that makes that screen work with Linux. And that's probably where it's going to be. And we have the little pooter, a manuel, a stand, and then a box. And this has like felt lining, which I did find kind of amusing. You can see it's shimmering. All right, so this box, we have our power supply and what else? HDMI cord, so little three foot HDMI and a wall wart 12 volt 4 amp, so it's a 48 watt power supply, which is plenty for this because I think this is a 25 watt uh, part CPU. So we got a little stand, that's quite nice. And manual English is three pages. That's how you hook it up. It says something out about a VESA bracket, but I didn't see a VESA bracket, so it must not come with a VESA bracket. Yeah, packing list. VESA bracket. Huh. I'll look again. Anyways, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's look at this guy. Well, that was a piss poor pool. Oh. Okay, that's kind of nice. Like, that was a little too easy to open. Okay, now I can, can't get it open. All right, so we've got two USB, USB slots, two SSD slots, and the memory. This is a 16 gig stick of Whoop, uh, Whooposit. I've actually got a 32 gig stick on the way for systems like this so I can test the maximum bleh, stuff. Anyways, on this side, on the back side of the computer, we have power, two HDMI, two LAN, I think they're only gigabit, and an audio out, and then on the front, oh wait, that's on the top. Or wait, back. This is the top. So on the top we have 
two USB 3 and two USB 2s. And then on the front, we have two little pills. And that is our screen. And then, yeah, that's just a piece of fascia that doesn't come off. All right. And then apparently, a looking glass so you can see your RAM. I'm wondering if that glows or something. I don't see any LEDs, but who knows? Anyways, let's see what's inside. Let me take out these four screws and see what all I need to do. Okay, so I forgot to show this. This is a huge world SSD, and it's a Gen 3 by 4, and it has... Actually, it has four chips on it, it looks like. So that actually should be pretty fast. Um, I went ahead and pulled out the RAM and the SSD because I was looking for more screws. These are for the heat sink, so I was like, okay, how does this work? And I think it literally just, yep, it just pulls off. Uh, hmm. Oh, there it goes. All right. That's fairly simple. Uh, we got f two more screws holding the motherboard in. So let's go ahead and grab those out. And actually, while I'm here, let's take that off. Uh, it looks like it the generic Realtek uh, chip that's in all mini PCs right now. 61852BE. So instead of being a M.2AE, it is soldered on. Anyways. What else do I need to do? Yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, so i just been pulling on it a little bit here and there, and it's slowly coming out. But I'm stuck on something over here. There we go. All right. And... There we go. That's actually a beefy little fan. Decent sized. Oops. Heat exchanger. Looks like a fairly large heat pipe going through there. And the vent is out the top. All right. Got an unused little flat flex ribbon cable thing. There is our battery. So the two, no, that's those, okay. So fan and the battery plug in here. Got our ethernet chips. And then the screen. I'm really not going to take the screen out and don't really see a need to. I wonder what that was for. Because it's not for this computer. So there must have been something in a computer like this that plug, must have plugged into that uh, ribbon connector here. And went in that hole. It's the only thing I can think of. And yeah. Cool.
I did want to show how the uh, base goes on because it's magnetic, which is quite nice. Yeah. I wanted to include this, the first boot. So no lights over there. We got light here. That just pulses. No screen action yet. No action at all. Hmm. Well, that's just a little odd. Oh, there it goes. AMI. Ace Magic. Screen. Lost signal again. Yeah. AMI. Come on. AMI. Are you going to start up? Just a minute. And one last thing. There is the little screen populated. I'll be definitely doing some follow-up on that. All right, so I'm going to put this back together and do some testing with it. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Plenty of mini PC videos coming. So, as you saw, the video was a little wonky on the uh, landscape and vertical, and I wasn't going to reshoot it because that feels disingenuous to me. So, sorry for all the funky camera stuff. Uh, tried a new camera setup. So, that's why. Thanks. Bye.